In this video, I'm going to discuss about how to prepare for the CMI MSc data science exam. So I've cleared this exam in 2019 and I'm going to tell you everything about how to clear this exam, which books to use and how to uh, make a strategy to clear this exam. So first of all, I would really like to talk about some of the, my observation on CMI MSc data science exam. So what I observed when I took this exam is questions are not from very advanced topic. So it's not like that um, they are using some advanced formula to solve any questions. Questions are on some easy topics and just you need to apply your mind, apply your thinking to solve those questions. The second thing is questions can be single correct, multiple correct or subjective type. So these three variety of questions are asked in the CMI MSc data science exam. And the third is many questions do not require knowledge of the subject, but need thinking skills to solve. Yes, some of the questions or I should say the many of the questions are just the result of if you can think well, they can you can solve the questions as well too. So let's proceed with the books that you can use to prepare for this exam. So if I talk about the syllabus, there are several parts of the syllabus and the first one is school level mathematics. So under the school level mathematics, several topics are mentioned here. As you can see, I have taken this syllabus from the original site of the CMI. So to, to prepare this type of topics, the book that I recommend and that I have personally used is the Objective Mathematics by R.D. Sharma. So this book comes in two parts, part one and part two. You can buy from any of the sites. The link will be given in the description box. So you will find each topics that are mentioned here in these books. And you have to solve all the illustrations. Uh, read the topic line by line. Read the books line by line. Make the formula sheet and that you can use later to revise the topics and solve each questions. So the main topics here are the arithmetic and geometric progression polynomials, matrices, and functions, logarithms, elementary calculus like differentiation, integration, application of these things, and maximum minima. So you can find all these topics in this book, and you don't need to read whole book, just read those syllabus that are mentioned in the topic here. So the next part is the, the part of the elementary school syllabus, which is prime numbers, divisibility, GCD, LCM, modular arithmetic and logarithms. Some bar charts and reasoning are also asked. And for this, we have to use this quantitative aptitude by Dr. R. S. Agrawal. This book is really nice. You will find the topics and the questions related to these things. And the theory are also given. A lot of questions are given that you can use to practice. And the next is the discrete mathematics portion, which is set in relation, combinations, permutation, Pisan on principle, and counting techniques. So this books and uh, this book, this is discrete mathematics by Rosen that I have personally used. It was taught in my course, so I personally use these books to study all these topics. And a lot of questions given too. When you will read from this book, you will not require any other source to go through. Yes. When it comes to probability, no book is best than this fundamental of mathematical statistics. People think this is a very basic book, but it contains a lot of concepts and questions. So in the syllabus, they have mentioned only elementary probability theory, conditional probability and Bayes theorem. But I personally saw that in the exam questions asked from the binomial, normal, poison and these types of distribution. So you don't forget to uh, read these distributions and practice questions based on these distributions. If you will see the 2019 paper, you can see the questions from binomial and normal distribution. So you must read these topics as well, along with this Bayes theorem and probability theory. Everything you will get in this book, don't read the whole book, just as I already mentioned, read only the syllabus part. If you are talking about the Boolean logic and truth tables from the syllabus, the main book is the Digital Logic and Computer Design by M. Morris Mano. This is really a nice book and you can read these topics from this book. If you don't want to read this book, there is also a YouTube channel which is Neso Academy. 
and you can read this uh, you can uh, watch the video of this topics from this channel i will give the link of this channel in the description if you're talking about the programming part yes the best book is let us see by s1 connector this book really describes everything from basics and it will really make you a strong foundation of the programming i have personally read this book from my first semester and questions are not of very uh, advanced types basics things will be used to cover and these basic things will um, helping you to solve any of the questions given in the cmi msc data science exam so these are all the books that you can use now if i talk about the some of the must read topics that you must read is matrices function permutation combination functions probability and quadratic equation questions from these topics are must and if you see paper from any of the year like any past year papers you will see questions from these topics so you must read these topics from the depth and practice questions uh, well now if i talk about some of the tips for the cracking cmi msc data science exam that i have personally used so first of all is you should maintain a formula diary you should update whatever you study with you can write all the formula that you have studied till now in the your formula diary you should revise this formula so that at the time of the main exam you can recall this formula well third is you should practice some questions every day don't think that you will practice questions when the exams are near practice and make the learning make the thinking as part of your habit the fourth one is focus on how to explain any questions better yes for subjective part you need to explain you need to write better to explain those questions so it, you should start practicing it from the beginning itself the fifth one is don't forget to do some multiple correct questions yeah from rd some books or from any book that you are using you can always practice multiple correct questions as these are also asked in the exam the last the sixth and the most important step is solve previous year papers yes you can can't get the questions that are asked in the cmi exam from any other source rather than the previous year previous year paper is the best way to cultivate the practice of solving past year solving the questions that are asked in the cmi exam so practice these questions seriously watch them analyze them how the questions are framed how the thinking is required to solve those types of questions the seventh one is stick to the syllabus yes don't read anything extra just stick to the syllabus and everything will be and then what the student do is they keep reading extra thing and that doesn't help them in the main exam and the last is plan your preparation journey well manage your time wisely and maintain these things read these books and always have practice past year questions so that you can perform well in the exam So this video was all about uh, how to prepare for the CMI MSc data science, data science exam. I hope you are uh, really well versed with the all the things that I explained here. So thanks for watching this video.